Hello and welcome to the Checkpoint Reach podcast. I'm your host Luke Eldon. Today I'm joined by Sudden Perks. How you doing, guys? Good. Yes, yeah, good. Uh, some good news this week, I think. So we should have a good podcast. Yeah, should be decent. Not joined by Matty this week. He's um, stuck in Tesco. Yeah, stuck in Tesco. <coughs> 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 Full <laughs> <honesty>. <coughs> 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 stuck in Tesco Sorry, with his Tesco. laptop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But But uh, yeah, so no Matty to for the pod today, but. We were with him yesterday, obviously, to record some Pez. We were, which is Pro Evolution Soccer for the uninitiated or uninitiated. Mm, or e-football or e-football or whatever that is called. Yeah, surely no one calls it e by that name. <laughs> no, surely not. Horrendous. But yeah, we That's decided to stream, it. didn't we, um, and play out the real-life fixtures, mix yeah. up the teams with us four, 2v2. I think That's it went weird. pretty well. It was quite fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, we played like five matches in the end, didn't we? Um, yeah, it was fun. There were some really close games in there. I mean, there were some games where it wasn't so close as well, but there was a few close games in there that were pretty exciting. So We got a really yeah. realistic game in there as well. Well, the City Burnley one. Yeah, me and Perks were standing for our lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, you had like one shot in the whole game, didn't you? Yeah, but we had two near moments. Oh, that's true. Like, uh, near we do, yeah, I was going to say, our two chances were like guilt-edged as well. We were so close. Mm. Oh, if we would have just... On another that. day, it could have been so different. I blame Jack Cork. <laughs> horrendous. Yeah, I blame Jack Cork. <laughs> just and in doubt, blame Jack Cork. Cork. Exactly. Well, Sorry, Jack. Yeah, we do apologise, Jack, but it was your fault. However... We're going to continue on with it, though. Yeah, it was only the first yeah. one. Uh, we want to carry on. Basically playing through probably the, some more next through week, the pictures. We? Yeah, there'll be some more next week, and the yeah. video will probably go up this weekend as well. So yeah. look out for that. I did say the Sea of Thieves video in the last podcast was going up, but that, uh, yeah, that kind of didn't work out. It didn't pan out, did it? Some we had some technical difficulties. It's fair to say that Sea of Thieves is a technical difficulty. In all honesty, <laughs> true. Uh, yeah, it, it's not the best but, game. But however, we are planning to do some more. So we are planning to actually do some later, aren't we? Sea of Thieves recording. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to. We'll try and get, well, get that video out next week, hopefully. Yeah, we'll try and get that. So, obviously, yeah, just doing some more in lockdown. And as I mentioned, lockdown, wherever you're listening to this from, hope you're doing well. Nice and safe and staying home. Uh, it is a little bit boring, but, you know, at the moment it's necessity. So, anyway, we hope that we can cheer your day up, maybe, or cheer you up a little bit with some gaming news that we're going to cover. And I know this cheered us guys up quite a bit because uh, first look at Xbox Series X third-party games is happening next week inside xbox yeah so uh, in particular this must have hit the spot for you sir because you've been waiting you've been thirsting for so long for some new information from either side i have i have and uh it's about time really isn't it we've, we've had to wait quite a while but it seems like this is the month now where things are going to start kicking off a bit and mm-hmm. start actually you know because I, I think um I don't know. I, I just get the sense that as well as this Xbox news, you're probably going to hear something from PlayStation this month. I, th- I, I, I think. I don't know if you two agree. I think they're, they usually respond I don't think they're just going to sit on their hands and no. do nothing for the whole month. They usually respond um, to each other, don't they? So I'd be shocked yeah, if they so. didn't have something. I In a general sense, we'd be, what, like a month out from E3? Like just over yeah. a month from, from the regular E3? So I know PlayStation right. or Sony aren't there anymore, but they do deliver their own events. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think so. I think we will see a quick succession of, of news that's actually prominent and not just rumours now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we don't have long to wait either. It's basically a week from now, isn't it? Or less than a week from now. So Yeah, Thursday, May good. 7th at 8am yeah. Pacific time. So what, that was like, what, 4pm? 4 4pm 4 4 our BST. time, yeah, I think. For GM, yeah, EST. Um, so, yeah, I th- I'm, I'm just looking forward to it because we want to see what we're going to be playing in the next year or two. So, I do. and yeah, it's it's obviously I think it's you did say it in the title, but it's good to stress that this is going to be probably ninety ninety five percent third party games. I I still have a sneaky feeling they're going to maybe sneak a first party game in there. I don't know if you think that as well. I think maybe they might show something. I just got that uh, sense. It'd be nice to Man, maybe if, maybe if Halo they don't show the a third party game, then that's just shooting themselves in the foot. Like, what would be the point? They have to show mm. something. Well, the whole point is that uh, what it says in here is basically that this is an event for the third parties, this one, and then they're going to do their own first party event maybe in June or July. 
they've got a tease though they have to show you something it mm-hmm. can't just be all third parties even if it's not one of the big hitters like show something unexpected or like you said if it's halo then fair enough but at least a tease mm-hmm. don't just drop it on the third parties i get the sense we might see something but even if we don't smell as well I, I, I don't think i'd be too disappointed because only i know some people would but i i we know that they're going to do their own first party event. It's not like that's not going to happen at all. We know that's going to happen. And I don't know. Do you usually get the sense that they must be pretty confident if they're, if they think they can get away with just showing third party games, maybe they are very confident and that they can put a big show together with just their games later on. Maybe shows a bit of confidence perhaps. I mean, it's kind of following suit, isn't it? From what we've heard from Phil Spencer in the last couple of months or so, he is confident and Xbox not the Xbox division as a whole has, has appeared quite confident lately yeah. but I still I don't I don't like the idea of an, of an event purely for third parties with no tease to what they're doing themselves if I'm being perfectly honest I know it's coming further down the line but like we, we all kind of know what to expect don't we from third party games do we think we're going to see anything that's drastic or shocking or blows us out of the water and think wow I mean, uh, there's definitely going to be new things, isn't there? There's going to be new games shown. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, like, in terms of the that impact, you're not mm, really going to get know. it from it's... third parties. As far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm pretty sure, like, we know what to expect from the regular mm. games we get across the board. I'm way more interested in what they do as a studio, well, as a studio themselves and with their own in-house studios. Yeah, I, I understand where you're coming from with that. I think uh, I think you're. To be fair, I don't think you're alone in that. I think a lot of Xbox fans are. I mean, they're obviously looking forward to what all games that are coming out, but they're, they're obviously excited about what Xbox are doing just because it's so unknown, I guess. Um, but I don't know. I'm still looking forward to this event. I, I like to see what's coming in the pipeline, even if it is, you know, in third parties. You'll be able to play them on PlayStation and Xbox, but. So it'll be a good event for it. You know, I think it's an event that anyone can watch, isn't it? This one because. Even if you're a PlayStation fan, you're going to get something out of this event because yeah. the vast majority of these games are going to be available on your platform as well. So I think it's a good event all around. I think yeah. uh, touching on first person, uh, first party games though for Xbox, yeah. they they definitely have to come out the gate strong with a strong showing, or oh, ju- yeah. you know just to get people hyped because of how bad the last gen was for it. And I think there will be a yeah. lot of eyes interested, like Perk said, to see mm. what they have up their sleeve first party wise. Um, I'm glad. I kind of like, though, that they're going to have two separate. Yeah, I, I agree. I like um, it as well. You know, it just... up, gives us more as well. Because, yeah, I mean, I guess they could have done some ridiculous two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour event with literally everything in it. But, I don't know, maybe that's a bit overkill. Maybe it's better to just spread it out and have more events, you know, that are as a bit l- shorter. As long as they don't dilute their own first-party event mm. with more third-party stuff. Because if you think about how it would regularly work with the E3 show, and, like, a lot yeah. of it is mishmash and the, yeah. a lot of their own stuff has tended to be the i don't want to call it arcade or indie anymore because mm-hmm. the scene's a bit bigger than that these days but you know the games that just fill up the library and they show like 65 exclusives and like 60 of them are just throwaway games that, that aren't that interesting and then the majority of their stage has been has been third party stuff so they're doing two separate events now rather than having to combine it all in one show I don't know, man. I'm expecting big, big things mm. like in a in a month or so's time when they do deliver their own. I think though as well, they must know this. So you know, the people at Xbox are not they're not daft, are they? They, they must know that with this comes more expectation. If they're purposely hi- like kind of, well, I don't want to say hiding away, but I kind of guess they are kind of hiding away their first party games for another event. Then they must be confident that those games are going to really impress people. It fills me with. It actually makes me feel confident in what they're going to be showing. Yeah, because the they haven't event. just slapped it on at the end of this third party. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. They could have easily done, you know, what Perk says happens at E3. They could have easily just had an E3 showing where it's like, yeah, we've got a mix of first party and mostly third party games, but they haven't done that. They've, you know, they've, they're going to have an entire event dedicated just to their first party games. And, you know, as we know, they've got um, 15 studios now, Xbox, under their belt. So. And a lot of them are working on new stuff, so that we don't know about. So I, they must be confident, you know. Do you reckon we'll see any teasers to the quadruple A? The, in, the initiative one, yeah. Mm. Um, at this event, uh, well, not the third, but maybe the you know the first party one. Think I'd we'll get any so. teasers there. 
Yeah, I think so. I think they'll fully show it off. You know, that's how long they've been working um, on that now. You guys might know it longer than me. I don't know. When did they buy it? I think Better they bought. Me, well, they didn't buy it, did they? They made it themselves, I guess. But they made the studio. I think it was maybe like two and a half years ago, two years ago, something like that. So, right. I, this game is still going to be fairly early in development. I don't think it's going to be ready for at least another two or three years. Probably looking at late 2022, maybe early 2023, something like that. Yeah, for this game, but I think it's a good time to show it off and show what it is. Um. Because this is the one studio, and I think most people would agree, this is the one studio that people want to see from the most. Because this is a brand new studio, we don't have a clue what they're doing, we don't know what type of game it's going to be. There's been all sorts of rumours about reboots of games so far, but we don't, and until we actually see the conference and see what they're doing, we don't have a clue. So I hope it's a new IP. I just want something different. Yeah. Cause it's, it, well, man, it, yeah, it has yeah. to be. It has to be, what, the first ever quadruple A game and it's not going to be a new IP. Mm. Like yeah, they've, point. They've, they've, so. they've definitely like put themselves on the edge of the plank for this one. I mean, if it doesn't hit or whatever it is, just never really comes to light. It just it's never there. It gets delayed, left, right, and center, or whatever it turns out to be. Then no, like th- this one has to be big. It has to be good. It needs to tick all the boxes. Like you, you can't put that pressure on the studio and then there's just nothing. Or it's or it's like yeah, that that looks all right. Mm, it's yeah. got to be big, man. It has to have a bang with it. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, if you're building it up as a quadruple A studio, you can't just come out and be like, oh, yeah. yeah, well, we're just rebooting this. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, but yeah, just, so just going back to this third party event though, for next week, uh, I mean, what sort of, is there any sort of games or anything maybe that you th- would like to see? Like anything new, any, anything from a, a franchise from the past or any, what, what do you think? Mm, you think I'm of anything? really... Uh, off the top of my head, obviously we, we were all kind of thinking out loud at the minute with this, but I, I don't really expect to see anything that unique. I, I don't. We might get one thing. Uh, I wouldn't expect like surprise after surprise. I can't really think what I would like to see. I'm just expecting the normal stuff. Like I don't think we'll see. I don't think we'll see too much of the the PlayStation favored things. Like I don't think we'll see anything from. No, I think Call of um, Duty or FIFA's or anything like that. We we might get the odd not clip uh, well, or snippet, but a lot of the games I assume are going to be. No, I don't think everyone will be, but I think a lot of the games are going to be games that Xbox have got like a marketing deal with. Yeah, I or, or at least not like a, a favorable like, like past yeah, yeah, of yeah. yeah, like things that might be on Game Pass yeah. and stuff like that. I think there'll be a few like neutral sort of games that aren't doing any marketing deals with either, but. I think there's going to be a lot of like we already know that Assassin's Creed Valhalla game, for example, it's going to get its first gameplay reveal, don't we, at this event? And they've already, I know we'll go on to that game later on in the show, but you know that's already been confirmed to be at the event. And I assume what maybe we'll probably see more Cyberpunk, I guess. I think that's yeah. probably very likely. Um, so you know, showing it on a on the new console and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I mean, think I there'll don't be a really lot know where that, to but... go in terms of surprises. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I what really about the new don't... Bat- rumored Batman game, something like that could be possibly. I guess it's about that a lot time. of rumors about that game, hasn't there? About yeah, a new Batman game. That, so. that would that would work with the time scale. It's yeah. it, it has, has been, been a few years, while, hasn't now. it? Do you want Arkham Knight was five years ago? I'd like I'd like a new one. I think it's about. I I wasn't a massive fan of Arkham Knight. I've got to be honest with you. Um. I, I didn't like that right. Batmobile. Yeah, I think the game Batmobile itself was terrible. Was I just that Batmobile really did ruin the game for me. I, I, I don't know. It just I was horrible. Maybe I, I need to go back and probably go back to that game at some point, but try it again. But um, I'd like to see a new Batman. It's been a while. The games are always fun, aren't they? Batman as a character is one of the best. I think in that you you know in the DC universe. So yeah, and he's got the best villains. Yeah, exactly. So I think we'd all be pretty pleased to see a new Batman. Um, I'm trying to think really what well. maybe watched well Watch Dogs though I assume it might be a PlayStation branded game. Um I think Watch Dogs in the past has had PlayStation marketing, hasn't it? So we might not see like Watch Dogs Legion there. Um like you said, new call the new Call of Duty probably gonna be a that, PlayStation no, that's, event. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, PlayStation centric based yeah. marketing builds and exclusivity yeah. like that's timed anyway. Mm. I, I think mm. the main focus of this show is going to be more about look how it looks on this console. Like, look what we can yeah. do with load times. Look what we can do with the, the, uh, I don't know, the the non-dropping displays. You know, constant 4K, no like upscaling, 
60 FPS across the board that doesn't drop to two when a few enemies are on screen at once. I think they're going to be looking to show off, like, sure, they are showing off third-party games, but I think, anyway, they're going to focus it more around, look what we can do with them. Mm. Or look yeah. what they I mean, can I do with, with, our, with too... our product. You would hope, though, wouldn't it? I, 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 do, I, I don't think they will do this. I, I don't want them to go too technical with the show. Like, I don't want them to start talking too in-depth. about You know, kind of like that PlayStation event was with Mark so anyway he was talking about all the, all the deep specific, dive. yeah I don't want them to go anywhere near anything like that because it's like I, I, it's boring to, no I don't think honest. it will be like that I don't think it will no, be I, I don't through think... like like the PlayStation no, version want... what I mean is I think you'll see a lot of like vistas and yeah. the draw distances yeah. being shown off and a lot going on all at once to make people think oh like this looks like a PC now so that that's yeah. kind of what I'm expecting to see rather I... than the content itself being being really shocking or surprising, but uh, hey, I, I could be wrong. Do you not think it's going to kind of just be like an E3 show would be, though, with just trailers drop? I, I, I don't oh, think it's going to be too much different. trailers. Yeah, but I just mean in general, do you not think it's just going to be more like a proper E3 showing? On a smaller scale, of course, because, you know, it's not going to be as grand as E3 on a stage and stuff like that, but is it not just going to be a little bit like here's a trailer, talk about the game maybe for a minute or two, next trailer, talk. I'd like something like that, just Something quite quick, you know, quick. I don't I don't want to be messing about watching one game and talking about it for twenty minutes. You know. Yeah, I mean I want to just see loads of different expecting. games. That that's why yeah. I'm not like super excited for it. Obviously I'm gonna watch it. It's, it's gonna yeah. be intriguing in a sense, but that that's kind of my thought process with it. It's gonna be like a what, like a Sizzle poor man's real. E three. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. But it's gonna be alright. I'm expecting yeah. to see what we've what we've said, but I, maybe it's just how I feel and the, the lethargy towards a lot of franchises these days, but I'm not really hyped for it. I'm intrigued, but that's about as far as it goes. Yeah. I think it's good, though, isn't it, that we're getting to this stage, and I think we can all agree that we're kind of glad that we're getting past the whole hardware talk and we're now getting into the games, because I think, I, I don't know, I think everyone's getting a little bit bored of the hardware now. Like, obviously, we need to see PS5 and stuff like that, but apart from that, I just want to see games now. I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about consoles anymore. I just want to see what we're going to be playing on these consoles. Yeah, I'm the same. I want to see more games. Yeah. Um, and we're finally going to get a look at that, so that'll be that'll be fun. And I actually... Well, a bit different to Perks. I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. Just, you know, just seeing seeing what the next gen will provide with the party titles and stuff and just having something to look forward to. I, yeah. I, I, I think it'll be all right. I'm looking forward to it as well. I think... Uh, I understand where Perks is coming from. Maybe we need to temper our expectations a little bit. Because at the end of the day, if you... If you, if I've, you go not into high, I've not got high expectations. No, that's what <laughs> just because I'm, I'm, just yeah, I'm looking forward cool. to it doesn't mean I've yeah. got high expectations. Well, I think that's a good thing anyway. Because if you go in with low expectations and it's better than you think, then you're going to be happier, aren't you? So rather than going in thinking, oh, this is going to be the greatest event I've ever seen and then it being like... Eh, Star Wars know. mindset. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I think I I'd built rather, myself up no. for too many of the recent E3s, yeah. thinking this is going to be the one, this is going to be good, and it just—I I don't even remember the last E3 that I even enjoyed. Yeah, they've uh, been getting worse, definitely. Yeah, that's a good but, question. Uh, I do wonder though if that comes with age. Yeah, maybe it's definitely a part of it. A bit more, you know, a bit more cynical. <laughs> well, a lot more cynical in my case. I would love to go into it though with low expectations and be kind of. I don't know, I'll, I'll be blown away. Blown you know, away. Be like, oh, yeah. wow, that was actually a really great event. I'd, I'd rather have that than the other way around. Surely <laughs> it can't be as bad as the last Inside Xbox me and you watched no, together, no. Sud. No, I, I, I think it'll be... It can't be as bad. <laughs> Surely it'll be better than that. No. No, it will be better than that. The only way it is will up. be. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I was thinking as well, what about that other game? Uh, the uh, Your game, Elder, Elden Ring. You might see that. Oh, yeah. Because that's yeah. an Xbox market game. So <laughs> my game, Elden Ring. Your Moon. game. You <laughs> made. Sounds very no. wrong. <laughs> it definitely does. Uh, yeah. It's funny if we were watching it, and it just like secretly you'd been planning this game in Microsoft, and you, you oh, were just I mean, the main How character. good would it be if we just sat there watching it, and then there's like world exclusive, and then my face appears on screen, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> talking about my ring. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. It's a shame because it's like it's nice that we get one of our names in there, especially for you. But it's such a bad title. It's yeah, not the best no. of names as Elden Ring. Yeah, it's a bit like mm, okay. It's, but the game yeah, might just, be good. Sound, but yeah, but to be fair to most people, I don't think they know someone called Elden, so they just associate True. that word True. with something else. Where with us, we associate it with me, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, there's a different. Yeah, well, that is funny because that game's there. Uh, that's the one that's being co-written by George R. R. Martin, isn't it? So it is. Yeah, 
be interesting to see how that goes. That I am out. interested to see it. Uh, I do yeah. wonder what it'll be like. I mm. mean, I, do we have any much details on it? I don't think we do, do we? No, we don't. We saw that trailer at E3 last year, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but it wasn't, I mean, it was like a cinematic 10 second, 15 second trailer. So we don't know anything about the game. Um, but yeah, well, I think what we're going to see though is, uh, I mean, obviously we're going to see Assassin's Creed. We know that. Um, I think I think we will see quite a few Ubisoft games though, because as we all know, Ubisoft has got a lot of games slated for coming out very soon. Um, I've just thought actually of another game we might see, the next Far Cry. Wouldn't surprise me. I like the last Far Cry, to be fair. Yeah, I think we might see the next Far Cry. Far Cry you played 5 the was DLC, good. didn't you? But you didn't like it. I didn't I like that right. new dawn. Yeah, yeah, like the standard. Yeah, it wasn't very good. I, I didn't think that was good at all, to be honest. Um, but I liked Far Cry Five, and I do like Far Cry as a franchise. I think it's they're always fun games to play. So Far Cry Five is the only one I've played. Weirdly, but it's the yeah, only I think, one I played, and I really enjoyed it. Actually, I yeah, it was really good. I got into it. So yeah, the story was really good as well. So um, I, I think there's there's that Rainbow Six game as well. Was it Rainbow Six Quarantine? I don't know if you remember that. Being is that actually called Quarantine? Yeah, it was that, and that makes me think that's probably why it's not come out. <laughs> yeah, that, that game's all about something completely different yeah. these days. I do wonder whether they'll change the name of that game. I wouldn't be surprised, but I think we'll probably maybe see that Rainbow Six. I think as like an Xbox. I've always associated Rainbow Six with Xbox, so that could be yeah, another game. So have I, but that's just because yeah. of the, the old days yeah. of the original Xbox. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But so, and I don't know. I mean, what else could we see from Ubisoft? And, Maybe like a new Rayman game or something like that. I, I think Ubisoft's going to have quite a lot in the pipeline. Um, to be honest, mate, there's going to be so many games that hit and we're going to be like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Didn't that's think about. Thinking. There's probably going to be loads we forgot about, like, you know, and I, there'll be some new IP. I, I think we want to see new IPs. I think there will be at least two or three new IPs at this show. I can't see there not being any. I mean, From third parties? Yeah, I think so. I think there'll be a couple of new IPs at least. Uh, maybe more. I don't know. It, it, the thing is, Perks, Perks doesn't I, agree. I, it, it's actually hard to speculate because we don't, we don't. First of all, we don't know how long the event's going to be. It could be like half an hour. I don't think it's going to be that short. But I think everyone's we don't assumed know. it's an hour, haven't they? I'm going to say it's around an hour. I'm just yeah, I had an hour, maybe a little mind. bit longer, but an hour and ten minutes, something like that. Yeah, the thing is, we don't know how many studio. We don't actually know how many studios are there, do we? We don't know how many publishers are there. Yeah, it's not like E three where we get a rundown in no, advance we don't of who's know. there, who's not. So, like, so yeah, that that um, is difficult. I actually so, think the yeah. Assassin's Creed Valhalla segment is probably going to be the main thing we see, unless we do get a, a tease towards Halo or, or anything yeah. first party wise. Um, we'll by all accounts, that, Odyssey was a really so. successful game in terms of a return to form for the franchise. And yeah. uh, whilst I'm not a massive Assassin's Creed fan, I do appreciate that they're going in the right direction and yeah. i quite like the the norse scene it's so cool, isn't it? It looks cool. yeah I'm, I'm i'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that and i think when, when i think about what i'm expecting to see from the new hardware itself it's probably quite a good game to show off yeah they can do a I lot agree. with that and they can have a lot going on all at once so well you I, yeah be... i think valhalla is probably going to be the the main part of the show well you must be looking forward to this sud because you really enjoyed odyssey I did. I thought Odyssey. Uh, it's probably one of my favourite games of the generation, to be honest with you. Uh, definitely, well, definitely been in the top ten. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Assassin's Creed's been on an upwards trajectory since Assassin's Creed Origins. Since Odyssey. Well, I know Origins. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The, the first one that really changed the formula was Origins, which was the yeah, yeah, I know. was the Egyptian one, pyramids and all that. Um, <laughs> But Odyssey was the better game. Odyssey improved again on the uh, on Origins, so I'll never yeah, forgive I'm the that. franchise. It looks great. For, it does look. I'll never forgive the franchise for number three. Yeah, no, yeah, number three. Well, yeah, it wasn't really received oh, very well. So Still haven't played that game. I haven't played number three. Don't waste your time. Yeah, do yeah. not waste your time. I mean, there will probably <laughs> yeah. be people out there who love it, and we'll get the haters because yeah. we tend to when we say something's crap. But <laughs> I did not enjoy that. No, but. Uh, no, I agree, because I think that they're clearly going to have a big segment on that, because, I mean, they showed off the trailer before, and then they were like, oh, come and watch more of the inside. So that you always get the sense that's going to be one of the flagship games they show. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. I I know what you're saying. I, I know what you're saying, but you're kind of trying to be like, well, temporary expectations. I, I just, I do think there might be something big there. I, I just, well, you know, these events always throw up something, don't they, unexpected. They usually do. 
I just you know, hope it's good and expected yeah. rather than bad and bad expected and ex- though. Like that, <laughs> yeah. that's what I've come away with. That that's my takeaway from E three of like at least the last three years. <laughs> Like, in my mind, all I can think of is, like, sitting down at the beginning thinking, oh, we might get this, that, or the other, and then it finishes, and I'm like, wow, so we got those things? That's yeah. great. Like, I, I just really hope it's not like that. What? I want to be, like, pleasantly surprised. I want the show to finish and for me to think, wow, like, that, that actually hit the mark. That was pretty good. I, just, about, um... I don't know. I'm too much of a cynic. I've got too much, like, bad taste from, from uh, the last few years' conferences. Yeah, that's true. What do you guys think about... I've just thought of another one, actually. What about Resident Evil 8? Um, mm. I personally don't really care, but I'm not sure if we will see it. I, I think we early. probably play, see that. will that be a PlayStation? Yeah, I was just going to yeah, say, they usually have market, if we no. do see that, that'll be a PlayStation-centric mm. thing. It'd be sort of ta- good timing, though, wouldn't it? Because we've obviously had the rumours about the name of it and the village. called the Village and a bit of a weird name. But it, it would be good timing, I think, to maybe show... Um, Sure, Resident Evil 8 off, but like you said, probably maybe at the play, uh, well, at a PlayStation event, whenever that is next month. Yeah, whenever it comes around, maybe but, four months time. But do we expect that? Uh, uh, this is one thing I actually used to. Do we expect maybe a surprise in terms of a publisher or a game that Xbox are, uh, are working with that we wouldn't have expected? Maybe like a Japanese game, or you know, something that you just wouldn't expect from Xbox. Maybe like a bit of a surprise. Now would be a good time to do it. Yeah, going into the the new generation, I think if they were going you know, like a surprise, to... a surprise marketing deal or surprise yeah, partnership like or, you know, even a second like party partnership. The, the, only the, thing, the only thing that tempers my, my thoughts on that idea is that Phil Spencer has been quite vocal about coming away from exclusivity and mm. tying other companies with Microsoft and having the whole like gaming family, not separated or like having a line drawn anywhere. And he, he's given a lot of, shade towards other companies who have who have gone down those routes still to this day so yeah, would, you're talking about the time thing cool. yeah, yeah or like you know for example like the the call of duty stuff like playstation have access yeah. to like x y and z a month before xbox do and well, like he, he doesn't want that to it? happen anymore so like that's just one like small small example what was it that cod had for a year on playstation it was like well that's pointless because xbox oh, players aren't um, going to play it it was one of the move spec on. ops modes wasn't it yeah they had like oh, a year, didn't they? which was really strange yeah but, so, um, i mean that's way too much time anyway but normally it's like multiplayer maps like a two weeks or a month in advance something like that along those lines it's well, never uh, typically big con yeah my, my thinking was more than the time deals though Perks. my thinking really was more are Xbox going to do maybe what PlayStation did with, with Insomniac and Spider-Man? Where they kind of... Because at the time, obviously they've bought Insomniac now, but at the time it was, you know, Insomniac was a second-party developer for them. So are Xbox going to do something like that where they buy a game to put on their platform, basically? I, I think it's possible. I do think it could be possible. If it, if it was time. a... Yeah, like, if it was the right team behind it and it was the right yeah. game I would like to see that because we all loved mm. Xbox exclusives when we were growing up the 360 had so many you, you'd take forever to name them but yeah, I'd, again like I as much as I want to see it and I want to sit here and like think about what it could be and what we could get that would really drive Xbox on I'm just not really feeling that's the direction that we're, we're going in as, as Xbox guys I, I think it's mm. more about games for everyone and let let's not like take away from other developers like that's just the like phil spencer mantra at, at this at not developers sorry other other companies like trying to like play down rivalries that's mm. just kind of how he comes across and true i i, I hope you're right like I, I feel like i said before i think now would be a really good time to do it because it's like making big moves going into the next gen if you're not going to do it Oh, sorry, if you are going to do it, now's the best time. Like, there's no yeah. need to wait for it. Yeah. But I just don't really feel that from from the head of Xbox right now. It just doesn't really sit well with me that that's going to happen. Although I really hope it does, because it would be a nice move to make. I'd say that it is definitely the perfect time to announce something like that. Yeah. And to start building hype towards the next gen and stuff like that. But if they will do it, that's a whole different thing, isn't it? I mean, like Perks has touched on, it doesn't seem... That way from mm. Phil Spencer's, yeah. you know, statements and comments yeah. from the past, but maybe something like the Insomniac deal with PlayStation could be worked out 
the Guerrilla yeah. Partnership to begin with and then look to take, o- take over the studio, the studio. Yeah, I mean, if we could get a Spider-Man-esque mm-hmm. game like all tied up to Love it. to our side of the the game in yeah. rivalry. Well, that's what then, I was thinking. Yeah. Could they go to sort of Marvel or DC, whoever get it is? Get a Superman. And... Get a Superman. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking, a game like that. I it, whether Superman would work or not as a game, but yeah, I just mean something boring, on that level. It? You know, uh, could they go for a superhero type franchise and go, oh, well, we'll, we'll have this exclusively, you know. <laughs> well, um, they've like seen the Sony success of Spider-Man, so they, they it must have crossed their minds at some point. Yeah, if they would so. actually act on it, whole different yeah. thing. But surely mm. they would have had conversations like, maybe we could work something out here with a superhero character. However, after saying Superman, I do think that game would be boring. He's, yeah, he's invincible. Be uh, that would need to be Superman that isn't <laughs> Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would not, need some not work. so super. Long. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> good title. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> yeah, um, but we should touch on uh, another subject that dropped. Mm. Obviously, me and you reported on it straight away. So about the Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And obviously, um, uh, spoilers have apparently been leaked. Perks, you've seen some, I believe, or you've seen things that you believe to be spoilers yeah exactly like i've read enough that pertain to things happening within that you don't need to be a a genius to put two and two together to work out what's actually going to happen there so Mm. literally my advice to anybody and everybody is like stay away if (laughs) yes if you're even tempted to think like i might not see too much you 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 actually might not but it's what you'll read Mm. and your part is in your head like oh yeah yeah so yeah it's probably not worth (laughs) looking um uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's an unfortunate thing that's happened, really, isn't it? I think all around because mm. um, it's you know just looking at it from the I think the, first of all the fan side, it's obviously very disappointing because this is a game that obviously you know most PlayStation fans and well most of any fans really are looking forward to and anticipating uh, and. For a game, you know, for, and then you look from sort of Sony's point of view, like disastrous from their point of view, isn't it? Really, for one of their major games, yeah, their major game Dog. of the year, and major game maybe of the entire generation, to be completely spoiled. Yeah. Naughty Dog said that um, they were what was it, heartbroken and sad or something. Yeah, well, I don't blame yeah. them. I mean, I think I would be if I were there. If I'd worked on this game for five plus years, and then. I mean, we'll get onto the, the specifics of the, the employee in a minute, but if someone, you know, whoever it was, it leaked it, you'd be devastated. You'd be absolutely. Depends where you sat on which which, which side. Well, of the fence. that's if a you, good point. You know, if you you're agree not with happy with Naughty Dog and you're thinking, yeah, "Good, we need to do something yeah, to, you know, shock them." Uh, into... Yeah, I, there's probably a few. I'm not going to say the majority. I don't think the majority would think this at Naughty Dog, but there's probably a, a few, isn't there, there that aren't happy and probably think, "Oh, well, I'll be silent, but I'm secretly glad." They've done this or whatever, but it happens to every company. Not everyone is yeah. happy. I would assume that the vast majority of the staff are probably quite down at the minute and upset about it because it's like you, especially people that have worked so hard on the game, and then it's like for people to wreck it for everyone basically is leaves a bit of a sour taste. I think um, I understand. Look, I understand about maybe <laughs> these people, you know, the person that leaked it was obviously unhappy. Uh, his working Just conditions granted. that's been room, the rumour hasn't it that it's due to he wasn't happy with his working conditions and pay and things like that which is understandable being unhappy but I don't know I still don't think leaking the gate I still think that's I, personally from my point of view you, might, you two might disagree I think that's too far personally because you've got to think about who you're affecting you're not just affecting your employees you're affecting the fans of the game you're affecting you know what I mean it's like everyone involved with it I, yeah, I, I, I mean, guess. it's an unfortunate byproduct of it, isn't it? If you're going to do something like that, you're not just going to, you're not just going to affect the people that you're you're pissed no. off with. No. I think, uh, I think it depends if you're in the situation yourself. It's really hard to be. I mean, we're so detached from that that we can sit mm. here and say like, oh, you know, we shouldn't have done that, or they shouldn't have done that. Could have been a she as well, couldn't it? Um, was it has it been revealed who it was? I'm guessing. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure we know exactly. No, but, but and, or you could be sat there thinking, well, the working conditions were that bad. They had to do something to try and mm. shock Naughty Dog into improving them, and they might have been doing it for the dev team. But we don't yeah. really know. It's it's hard to tell without finding out 
the main reason. I don't why feel like it's it. something that just happens. Like I don't think you wake up one day and you're like, right, I've no. had a, I've had <laughs> enough of this now. I think it's like probably it's a, a thought, series of internal events, and mm. maybe there was just a straw that broke the camel's back, and it was like, right, that's it, enough is enough. Like we've reached the point, we've tried to improve this for so long. This is what you get. Yeah, and obviously it's unfortunate, but if, if the game was out when it should have been out and ready when it should have been ready, <laughs> probably wouldn't have had this. True, that is very true. Um, I don't know. I just yeah, it, it it leaves a sour taste to fans, obviously, doesn't it? If you if you're a fan that accidentally sees it or something, it's like oh great. Oh yeah, definitely. Great. You wouldn't it's be happy. terrible then. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try try my best to avoid any. I, I'm just not gonna look up anything. To do with the last it's really the last hard though because people like, with, with everything mm. like now people will be going into all kinds of things like streams videos mm. podcasts yeah. like whatever it is and they'll be leaving comments saying you know like for example like whenever there's a new superhero film you get people early screenings and then they say like blah 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 dies or whatever yeah, happens. I, uh, it'll just be so in you youtube can't... titles as well like, yeah and no thumbnails giveaways happened. yeah but they'll it's be really hard to avoid it is, and the longer it goes on, the, because more people know, and the further it goes on, more people know, so it gets harder to avoid it, doesn't it? Oh, I'm just yeah, waiting it's for the those, worst form of trolling. I'm just waiting for those classic memes where it's like four pictures, one's a hoover, one's like a frying pan and a, <laughs> a dustbin, and then there's fourth pictures like, I don't know, Ellie dies in Last of Us Part 2 or something. You're just like, oh, why have you done that? By the way, yeah. I haven't checked. I don't know any spoilers. I was just throwing that out there yeah or it's like spoilers with no context and it's the easiest thing yeah. to figure out ever yeah. like wow that was hard <laughs> yeah yeah so because <laughs> i remember with marvel with the obviously avengers and tony stark and the amount of people sharing things like that and it was just like i am and died <laughs> it's like oh great yeah no, it's like, <laughs> thanks yeah and no, was it when we went to the, was it when we went to the cinema was it um was it Xander that already knew what happened? Or something? Yeah, Remember Xander. When we Friend yeah, of the Xander show, knew, Xander. didn't he? Yeah. Like, oh. He had it spoiled for him because yeah, some guy in work just told him. It's like, why did you do that? But, um, yeah, it's just an unfortunate thing, isn't it, in this industry that this sort of thing, it's not the first game that's been leaked before, but it's probably the most high-profile game I can remember being leaked. Off the top like of my head, this. yeah. Um, I, can't remember, I can't actually think of another game on this level that's been leaked, leaked like this, so... Yeah, it's very unfortunate. I'm um, going to try my best to avoid any of the spoilers. Uh, whether I'll succeed or not, I guess, is a, probably a 50-50 chance. But we'll, we'll find out next week when you go on your rant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Don't run, need to back. play it anymore. Already know what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah so to run. But uh, yeah, we'll find out. I do happens. think, though, it's a tricky situation because we, yeah. yeah, we don't what's know what's happened. Full, yeah, the full picture. Full so. story. But at this moment, yeah, it is very disappointing if it has been ruined for you. But uh, yeah, that brings an end to the podcast. So thanks for listening as always. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, please like, subscribe and comment below with your thoughts on the topics we covered today. If you're listening to us on any audio platforms, please leave us a nice review and also pass the pod on to a friend as that will help the podcast to grow. Uh, you can also follow the podcast on social media on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at ChetReachPod. Links will be in the description below. And you can follow the guys on social media. Where can people find you, Sud? Uh, so it's just at David Tenspod. Perky. At JG Perks. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at lel 3 ds at a 9 the m for Instagram. Anyway, thanks for joining me as ever, guys. Stay safe and well, and uh, we'll be back next week to discuss some more gaming news. Bye. See Bye, you. guys. <laughs>